since eight years old, they give me lessons and I ride. Lynn Jolie was a professional equestrian. She's competed all over North America and it almost led her to the Olympics. I went on a long list for the Canadian team, but I lost my horse uh, at that time. Last January, Jolie was thrown off her horse. She was left with tetraplegia, paralyzed from the neck down. I need somebody to help me for everything. So that changed all my life forever. Doctors told her she'd spend a year in the hospital. But a mere four months later, she was back home longing to ride again. With the help of her boyfriend, she quickly got back up on her horse. He asked me, you want to sit on a horse? I said, yeah. <laughs> and I just sat five minutes and it was, wow, I want to go back on my horse again. And she did, many times a week. And after obtaining a custom stabilizing saddle adapter, the length of each ride increased. Diane Langelier works with Jolie. Un adapteur ici qui permet de, de reculer ou de remonter évidemment la partie du siège. Puis on a toute cette partie-là aussi en avant qui est adaptée sur la selle qui au début permet le sport. Today, Jolie can ride for almost an hour and is once again dreaming of the Olympics. She has her sights set on the 2020 Paralympic Games in Tokyo. I have a very nice horse that I can work and be safe on, on her. But in order to qualify, Jolie still has a lot of work ahead. She'll need to regain enough sensation in her arms and abdominals to manage her balance. If that happens, she'll be able to ride her way to Tokyo. Claude Rivet, CBC News, Sherbrooke.